Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Singh Gupta and you're watching Electric Vehicles. On February 1, the Finance Minister declared the budget, in which he spoke about battery swapping being the next move of the Indian government. You'll be happy to know that on April 20th, Niti Aayog declared a draft policy on implementing this battery swapping dream of the Indian government. All of this is coming up in this video. You'll come to know how you and I are going to be benefited by this and the business opportunities that lie in this model. If you happen to like this video, then do let us know by hitting the like, share, subscribe and also writing a comment to us. So by this battery swapping, the Indian government is trying to create a level ground between a petrol vehicle and an electric vehicle. A petrol vehicle comes without a fuel. Similarly, an electric vehicle will now come without a battery option, just the naked bike, so that the prices of both these vehicles become comparable. Now, you will be happy to know that with the battery removed, an electric two-wheeler does not become equivalently priced to a petrol two-wheeler. It in fact becomes lower priced. Now that is because a motor is simpler to make when compared to an engine, thereby reducing the price of the vehicle. Well and good battery swapping, but two questions, for whom and where? For whom? These are for two-wheelers and three-wheelers at this moment. Four-wheelers are out of the question because the battery pack is an integral part of the design of a four-wheeler. Even Tesla tried it with their models, but then it was not, it didn't make financial sense. And th therefore, we'll just keep that out of our minds for now. Two-wheelers, three-wheelers, yes, but where? The government is doing it in phases. In the first phase, if your city has a population of beyond 40 lakhs, then your city is the first in line to get these battery swap stations. In the second phase, government will be targeting those cities which have a population of more than 5 lakhs. Now let's talk about some companies who are already implementing this battery swapping. Number one, the oldest and the most famous one is of course Revolt who has had a successful model doing the battery swapping for a long time now. Number two is Hero Electric. They've recently tied up with Log9 materials and they'll be bringing this swapping technology to the B2B sector, not the B2C sector as yet. Number three, Bounce Infinity. They have already started delivering their vehicles with a promise of uh, having the battery swapping as an integral part of their price plans. If any one of you have already received the delivery of Bounce Infinity or done a battery swapping for that, please let us know in the comment section. Other than that, Boom Motors, Corvette, Grafton Quanta, these vehicles are also coming up with a promise of swapping. However, we don't have much data about that. If you do, then let us know in the comment section. Now, of course, the primary reason behind implementing this battery swapping is to enable a standardization such that the battery packs are brand agnostic and can fit into any electric vehicle, a two or a three wheeler per se. Now, the government has not yet disclosed the technical specifications specification or the operational specification of these battery packs, they will be deciding it after a meeting that they will be holding on June 5, along with all the stakeholders, post which the technical details that have been finalized will be published to the general public so that in the future, when new manufacturers make their own vehicles, they can fit their vehicle, they can build their vehicle to match these technical specifications of the standard battery, thereby enabling the battery swapping for themselves. Now, the sole purpose of these battery swapping technology is to enable standardization so that the battery packs that sit in these BSS, battery swap stations, are brand agnostic, which means you drive in with any brand of your uh, vehicle, I drive in with any brand of my vehicle, and these battery packs will fit into yours will fit into mine just like petrol does irrespective of the vehicle brand now the government has not yet declared or rather not yet imposed the technical or the operational specifications of the standard battery packs. They will be deciding it after a meeting that will be held on June 5 along with all the stakeholders, the uh, EV players that the government has invited for this meeting. Once this is decided, the government will be making those details public, those technical and operational details public so that in future when new manufacturers are building their vehicles, they can build their vehicles around this battery pack so that they're able to utilize this battery swap station facility. Now, the government is also open to the idea of allowing home charging for these batteries that you bring in from the swap station. Not yet decided. We'll let you know when we have a concrete information about that. Other than that, the government will be allocating a UIN. Are you unique? identification number for every battery pack that goes out of the swap station. This will be connected to the internet, the internet of things, so that if anyone tries to tamper with these battery packs or tries to do any mischievous stuff with it, then the government can, then the battery swap station can immobilize these battery packs. These uh, battery swap stations will only will only be covering the ACC, Advanced Chemistry Cell Battery Pack, which means the lithium ion battery packs which are currently covered under Fame2 subsidy or any advanced technology that comes in in the near future. Lead acid battery packs are out of this battery uh, swapping equation. Now, these battery packs have to mandatorily 
comply with the government's AIS-156 and AIS-038 revision 2 standards. I have made videos on that in the Hindi channel, in the Bangla channel, not yet done for the English channel, but I will be doing it. This, this is an important thing to know. You will be very confident once you know what this AIS-156 strives to achieve. You'll be very confident about the safety of these battery packs that pass through this AIS-156 certification. The government is also in talks with national and sub-national agencies to allow for easy financing for these battery swap station providers and for customers like you and I. Now, if you see a business opportunity in this, you are not wrong. Let me give you some points. Any individual, now I'm quoting directly from this uh, circular that was uh, issued on uh, April 20th. Any individual is free to set up a battery swap station provided he meets the technical safety and performance standards for the battery packs. If you have any location, if you have land of your own, you're free to do it. The government has urged four bodies to facilitate this. What are these four bodies? Number one, transport department. The transport department is to facilitate easy registrations. Number two, municipal corporation is to allocate land for these battery swap stations. Number three, state electricity regulatory commission will be doing the power tariff and uh, finalizing the incentives for this battery swap station. And fourth is the DISCOM, which is supposed to supply power. Now the government has urged these four bodies to work in coordination with each other and ensure that any applications that come through them should be very swiftly approved. Once you have the approvals, you need to apply online. And once you've applied, on, applied online, within five days, your battery swap station will be functional. On the sixth day, you will be able to start your business. All details will be available in the description, the circular that the government issued. And on June 5, when we have the final circular, the, uh, the ready version, the implementation version of the, uh, of the policy, we'll let you know again. If you happen to like this video, do let us know by uh, liking, by uh, sh sharing, by subscribing and do write us a comment. We'll meet again. Go green, go electric.